So now we're at the end process. We're doing the finishing touches and we're going to tie the quilt, make some ties in the quilt. And just for a refresher, what you'll need for this step and to be able to make a tie is you'll need a darning needle. Um, I may have said upholstery earlier, but um, so experimenting around today and a darning needle would be better. And they come in like a pack and they have like sizes 14 to 18. And you're looking for a large um, eye of the needle that can fit your yarn. Just look for the eye that can fit your yarn, can go through your yarn or your yarn can go through this eye here. Um, I found also as I was um, tying this quilt and is that a thimble is very helpful, especially for you know, pushing this needle through the fabric. Um, this was very helpful for me using a thimble. Um, and also you'll need the fray check to uh, put a, a little dab on it after you tie the knot, just to make sure the knot won't come unfrayed from the, the um, yarn, won't come unfrayed. And of course you'll need the yarn. And what I like about this yarn in particular um, especially with my colorful quilt is that this yarn is colorful as well and I can go and pick what portion of the yarn I want to use to put inside of the quilt um, or to make them tied with. I can choose what I, um, what colors I want to use. I can snip off and use that. And don't forget to have um, a pair of scissors because when you start tying your knots um, on the quilt you need to snip them, cut. <laughs> so don't forget to have a pair of scissor, scissors handy. And also, oh, I want to clean this for you. Have a lint roller. You see, I've been using this lint roller. Um, I've been using this one here to, to take care of some of these stray threads. And I noticed that when I'm um, tying the quilt, I may notice a, a stray thread or something that's on there, lint or something, and I just wanna get it off. And so let's get started. Let me show you how to knot the quilt. So I have my darning needle here. I have my darning needle and you need to thread your needle with the yarn. I have pretty thick yarn. The next time I do this, I may use like embroidery floss. Not, don't use regular thread. That's not gonna be thick enough. So if you had thread like this, this is just regular thread you sew with. You don't wanna use this. It's just too thin to use. You want to use a yarn or in an embroidery floss that'll be better. So my, this yarn here I have, it's going to be good yarn, but it's pretty thick. So how I'm going to thread this needle is I'm going to take this, I'm going to pinch it together, pinch it together, and I'm going to make it go through this needle. And this may take you a little um, while to get it threaded the first time. It may take a little second for you to do this um, here. Like it's taking me, it's a, this is a large eye needle, but it's still taking some time to get this in there. So when you get yours threaded and ready, or when I get it threaded, threaded, I will come back and we can start. Okay, so I have this threaded finally. It did take me a little while. So like I said, it may take you a little while to get yours threaded as well. So you see that that is on there and I haven't cut this from the yarn. Um, and I'm not, and I'm not going to need a lot of, um, lot of yarn for this because I am not knotting every single square. I know in some quilts you may want to knot every single square, but I have selectively chosen which squares I want to actually knot. Um, on mine, my finished quilt, I, I probably would just knot maybe um, less than ten of these because this is only two layers. It's, you only have your front and then your backing. You don't have to worry about um, the batting inside. So you don't have to worry about that um, coming undone. You only have two layers. So you really don't have to knot every single square if you don't want to. Um, remember, this is your design and just decide how do you how do you want it to look. For me, I don't, I don't want all the, all the knots on the quilt. I just want it in selected places. So I've chosen for this demonstration, I do have um, a few more that I want to knot, so I'm going to do that. Um, 
gonna knot this one. I'm gonna knot one, two, three, four, five. The fifth one in, which is gonna be in the center. This is actually the center here. It's a center square is what I'm gonna do, which it doesn't make any difference. Just figure out which square you wanna start with, and then we're gonna talk about how to do that, okay? So I'm gonna choose this square here, um, and you can choose a square for yours. And so I have my square and you have a square too. So you're, and you see, I was telling you about these little um, things you find when you're doing it. I'm gonna take that and just snip that away. I don't have to worry about it later. All right, so let's look at this a tie that I've done. Look at the anatomy of this tie here. So I started by putting the, my needle in the front of the, um, I went in the front and then I went it went through the back and I went went a little bit over, maybe like a quarter of an inch over, and I went back up through the front and then I was able to tie a, a knot here, okay? So that's what we wanna do. You wanna go through the front through to the back and then move over about a quarter of an inch and then go back up and then you'll be able to tie this off. So let me show you how to do that in real time. And I'm just gonna pick a spot here. Uh, remember this is a scrappy quilt, so it doesn't have to be all precise and perfect. So I'm gonna go in the front, just down here in the front, I'm gonna knot it in the front like this. See, that's kind of difficult. And when I um, use my thimble, is usually during this part of it, trying to pull this out the back here after I went in. Okay, and that's actually, this time it just slipped right on through. And then I'm gonna go over a half of an inch back, up. Put my thimble on and push that through. I'm gonna push it through, okay. And then this is what we have. And so it looks like I have two green, which is, I'm okay with that. I mean, I can move this around. Since it's in there, I can move it around a bit, a little bit, just have different colors because this is a multicolored yarn. I can move it around a bit here and choose where, where I wanna cut it, okay? And, and since I'm not going to be knotting the entire quilt, I'm just gonna go ahead and, and cut part of this tie here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut a piece of it right there. I'm gonna take it and just knot, just do a knot. Tie, and then come again and just tie. Like that, see that? And then at the end, after I've done them all, I'm probably gonna come back and snip this a bit more. I haven't decided how long I want these to be yet. I'm probably gonna snip it down here to about a half and half of an inch, leave the half of an inch. I may do that. So you can experiment. There's no right way, you know, doing that. Um, but I'm probably gonna go back and come back and snip some of these off. Okay. And so let's, and that's what we did. And remember I, what happened was I took the needle, went in through the front, came out through the back, went over a half of an inch, back up through the front. I cut the yarn and just made, and just not tied it twice and made a knot. And you can experiment with the type of knots that you use. You just wanna make sure that it's, you know, not gonna come off. And that's where um, we'll take the fray check and you can take it and just put a dab on it just to make sure that the knot is not gonna come apart. Just put a dab on it. And fray check takes a while to dry, maybe like a day or so it takes to, to dry. Just leave it overnight. So just to show you, um, you see these ends of this one, I'm gonna go ahead and, you see these ends are kind of fraying right here. I am gonna decide to cut this a little bit shorter, like I said, probably to about an inch or so. I'm gonna cut these a little bit shorter just so I can have that. And then just to make sure these won't come un unravel, which, you know, it does. it is a look to have them come unravel. That's a look if you want that. But I'm just gonna go ahead and put fray check at the end just to make sure it won't fray too much. 
and uh, ruin the whole quilt. I don't want it to come undone, so I'm gonna put just a dab of fray check on. But that's how knotting is, okay? And so I'm gonna go and finish. I have, I think I have like two more I wanna put in this quilt. And then I'm gonna cut these little ties down and then I'll show you what the final product looks like. And you go and knot yours too, okay? And like I said, you can knot every single square if you want, make it, especially with this type of yarn, if you wanna knot it with all these colors, you can do something like that. Just, you know, use your creativity. Don't, you don't have to follow any kind of pattern. Um, if we had used batting in this quilt, I probably would advocate for you to knot every square or every other square. But since we didn't use batting, we just have this front piece that we made with the squares and then we have this fleece. I, there's really no need to knot every single square if you don't want to. Okay, so let me finish mine up and I'll show you what the final product looks like. So here is my final quilt. <laughs> 